Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're taking a look at a Minions Gator Min army. And this particular army, probably pushing 100 points, is <clears throat> full of a lot of really awesome stuff. And we are going to take a look. But first, uh, when if you want to play Hordes, which is compatible with uh, War Machine by Privateer Press, you are going to need a basic rule book which is this one right here. The Hordes rulebook, Primal, comes in an awesome hardbound, and uh, that's just fantastic. For Gatorman, you'll need the Minions book, and you'll also need the Domination book for some of the expansion pieces. I guess I wouldn't say need, uh, but you open up Minions, and uh, it has a lot of different characters and whatnot in it, and... Um, so these are, minions are kind of like the mercenaries for hordes. They are basically guns for hire, so to speak. And um, so you can integrate them. However, there is the Gator Men list in here. There it is, Gator Men of Western Imarin. And this is basically a little sub army. So uh, you've got, uh, I do believe it is three casters. One is Bloody Barnabas, who you'll see shortly. And you'll also see Caliban the Grave Walker. And you've got a Light War Beast in the form of a Bull Snapper. Black Hide Rassler is a Heavy War Beast. An Ironback Spitter as a Heavy War Beast. Bogtrog Ambushers as some basic troops. And of course the Gatorman Posse. And Gatorman are just so tough. They are just brutal. They have eight uh, damage points each. That's kind of like hit points. Uh, with armor 16, reach uh, 13 for their attack, they have uh, fearless, and then they have all these other powers, which are just absolutely fantastic. You got swamp gobbers, a croak hunter, so it's all like Cajun themed. Wrong eye and snap jaw, which is kind of a duo that uh, that works together, and um, then of course you're into the pharaoh, which are the uh, boar men. So over in domination. Domination has the, um, the basically, what are they called, like war machines. But if you look in here, you will see, oh no, that's Legion. We're already back to Legion. Okay, so here we go. Uh, theme Forces, which is nice. Maalok the Dreadbound, which you will see in this army. He's a zombie gator. Good gracious. All, all very Cajun, um, southern U.S. themed here. Swamp Horror, which is a heavy war beast. So, Gatorman Witch Doctor. Oh man, so tons of fantastic stuff. Let's take a look at the models and the paint jobs. You've got, by the way, you've got some really neat base work on these guys, this kind of swampy stuff, which is this dark turquoise, this green with kind of an ivory color uh, wet mixed into it. So here's uh, Wrong Eye, and I'm not sure where Snap Jaw is. I'm sure he's in here somewhere, or maybe, maybe he's still coming, who knows. All right, uh, no, and in fact, Snapjaw was the model that uh, we're uh, fixing his arm. So here's Gatorman Posse, usually five in those. Swamp Gobbers are really, really cool. Here's a Thrall, which is a swamp dwelling creature with these like tentacles on him. Uh, here's your Swamp Horror. This is on a 50 millimeter base. Let me just pick him up so you can see a better look at him. Tell me that guy's not fantastic. I dare you. Love that model. Three Croak Hunters, and these are done all three differently. And supposedly the client sent a reference of real native amphibians and reptiles of Australia. And so, um, so we based it on that. So here's your Bog Trog Ambushers, kind of these uh, really uh, basic throwaway troops. And uh, here's a couple of Witch Doctors. Those um, really work well with the uh, Gatorman. Uh, here's Caliban. Pretty sure that's who that is. And uh, so, yeah, Bull Snapper. Here's a Bone Swarm. God, these these would be great for an RPG too. Black Hide Wrestlers. So they have like this old timey uh, wrestling mask on, and uh, very organic colors here uh, with ivories. Remember, ivory is a great color to highlight things with. Also known as bone. 
and uh, that makes it a very, a very warm. This is a feral geist. This is a, this is actually a spirit that possesses the bodies of war beasts and makes them act under your control. So here's a couple more war casters there. So there's that guy, and this is Maloc the Dreadbound. I'm pretty sure he's like a zombie uh, gatorman, and that guy makes me just absolutely makes me happy. So there's the army. Uh, we, there's, I think, at least one figure that I didn't show you uh, that is getting repairs done to his arm. So uh, there you go. Contact us at the email address given in the liner notes because we are on standby to assemble and paint your figures. Also remember, we have an absolutely fantastic trade program. Again, in the liner notes, you can get some contact and some information for that. Definitely trade in the stuff you're not using for some brand new stuff that will bring you joy and excitement. We currently have many, many thousands of listings on our web store, and we're always eager to add more to that and bring the joy of miniatures games to the world.